Hello friends, this is Manjana Chandraya. Today we'll be learning. We have a data in column B, uh, which has employee employee related information. But I need this in a column uh, in a row column like this. Since see this employee has name, email ID, and which department he worked. So employee two name and three department he worked. So I want each employee name and their information in in a row, not in the column. Let's find a solution to get that in a row column. So, so data is in column B. So what I'll do, I'll go and add a column here. In column A, I'll add my uh, mat as the reference. So in column B, filter only uh, filter uh, employee. So we need to get the employee. These are the uh, these are the uh, unique employee employee numbers. So we'll go and select this. And copy this same thing down. I just did a equal or pull the data into column A. So once you done, just clear this. So now it has taken here. So what you can do, just do equals the above. So why we doing this is to get the uh, same information till here related to this. Just copy equals above and copy this formula. You can select the blanks. and control V so now unfilter now you can see till here it is taking the employee 1 details from employee 2 details it is taking from till here to here again employee 3 it is exactly taking the related data here so once you done this first we need to get the unique employee number we have only three employee numbers so to get the unique, unique uh, employee number you can use the unique formula uni qe unique so this is where we have the employee number. So I'll go ahead and select till till this range. Use F4 function to lock and close the bracket. Now we got the employees here, employee numbers. Now we need to get the data here, name, email ID, sales and department. For that, what you can do, use a formula called, we need to club two formulas, which is transpose and filters. So for start with transpose, as you know aware of this transpose is nothing but from vertical to it brings to uh, row or row row to vertical so open bracket here you can start with filters filter formula now b column b2 to b90 use f4 function to lock comma again a2 to a19 lock this cells here what you can do use equals under this column anything equal to d2 so d2 is nothing but this column so i'm adding d2 here so once you add d2 so what it does a2 a2 to a18 is nothing but the employee numbers it will go to filter a1 there and copy that in transpose so here a d2 close the bracket with the two bracket two double quotes because we open the so two open brackets we have two open bracket here so we are closing with the two open brackets closing with the open brackets so once you hit enter now you can see employee one it has taken employee number name and his email id and sales department so same thing if you copy down control d so now you can see this person employee two has worked in three department sales marketing and sales accounting and purchases you can see sales accounting and purchases and the third employee worked in accounting sales purchase and marketing so accounting sales purchase and marketing so you can add the employee like employee number name email id email gmail department one department 2 department 3 department 4 so as as many automatically formula picks that values so you can just border so you get your information in the row column so you can space special these formulas so we easily can get it so you, it may be n number of line items using this formula 
using unique formula and the transpose and the filter to get the information. I hope uh, this was helpful.